up for sale in that vehicle. Max, we have a beautiful 2010 GMC Acadia with only 65,000 miles. Burgundy red on the outside with black interior with a uh, power tailgate, factory uh, color backup camera, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It also has four brand new tires just installed. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, let's finish going around the vehicle. I'm going to show you a couple of the options on it. One of the many features in this car is the remote start. I'll show you how that works. The car has to be locked, so we're going to go ahead and uh, lock it up. Press and hold the remote start for about three seconds. And the car starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC and it will cool down the car for you. The opposite in the winter, as long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater and it will heat down the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just unlock the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, press the little circle again, and the car turns right off. Also, I have a power tailgate. There's three different ways to open the power tailgate. One is from the remote control, as I'm about to do now. The other way to open the remote tailgate is by pressing the switch on the inside of the vehicle, which I'll show you, or by simply squeezing the tailgate handle. To close it, there are three different ways that uh, you can do it. You can do it from the remote, by pressing the switch here on the edge of the tailgate, or by simply pressing the switch on the inside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and get inside, show you the interior options. Okay. The door panels are all black with the, with the silver here. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, tilt wheel, automatic headlights that come on, off, that come on, on, that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. We got storage here in the sides with a bottle holder, driver's side, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. You got curtain side airbags on the front post the middle post, another one on this post right here, and another one on this post right over here. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, all right, be, and it's also got a seat side airbags here. You can't really see it from here. Let me come around the back and you can see it better here. All right. Let's go back up there. Let's pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no other smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Alright, let's go ahead and let's get started now. Let's start off by putting on the air conditioning, because it's a little bit warm out today. Alright. Okay. So the car has 65,077 miles, it just turned 65. The car is running right now, keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side of your screen, I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is running and working perfectly. The only thing that uh, you have on there, like the seatbelt light, because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Up in the upper right hand corner also tells you the outside temperature. If you put the vehicle in reverse, you get the color back of camera up here on your rear view mirror. And along with the parking sensors, and yes this car does have parking sensors, that should help you avoid any accidents when uh, backing up. Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, you get cup holders here in the center. This vehicle does have the automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode. 
and um, I'll show you how it works. Reverse, neutral, drive, and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make it shift manually, you come down to the L here, and now you can make it shift by tapping on these buttons here to shift up or shift down on this one here. This is the switch I was telling you about the uh, power tailgate. Okay, if you press off, you completely disable the power tailgate, meaning it can only be open manually. If you press here, it will open or close depending on what position it's at. Traction control, rear window washer and wiper. Oh, the air conditioning is really cool. Let me lower that. To turn on the radio, turn it on here. And you have volume controls right here on the steering wheel. To raise the volume here. Raise it here. Lower it here. Mute it here in the center. These two buttons up here, they're to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. Um, this one here is your seek button that takes you to the next available station. This one here is your source button. This is uh, to change from AM to FM and so on. I press it. So now we are on uh, XM1 because this vehicle does have XM capability. But right now it's on preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription. So let's press it again, the source. AM and back to FM where we were at before. All right. Um, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth in the vehicle, you're going to answer the phone over here and hang it up over here. Uh, if you're not using the Bluetooth, you can hold down this, the, um, this button over here, and that is going to access your voice commands. Cruise control on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. To turn on your fog lights, you're going to press in here. Let me get a little closer. Okay. And that notices here. It turns on your fog lights here. I'm going to turn them off now. Okay. Uh, the two front window, I believe, they're automatic, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. For up, you do have to hold it. Okay, uh, of course all the windows work, but I'm not going to work them now. It's just going to take too long. I need to hurry up the video a little bit. Okay, your main glove box is over there, and then there is the owner's manual. In the center console here where you rest your elbow, well, uh, you can make a couple of things. Uh, uh, you can make this slide back and forth, put it where you're most comfortable. And then you can access a little storage here that has coin slots and a little pocket here. And you can also open this up here. And you have minimal storage there. Okay, let's leave it there. All right. Um. All right. Your rear view mirror uh, is equipped with the OnStar system, and let me tell you what OnStar does for you. By the way, if you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. And I'll tell you what what OnStar can do for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour phone number. You call that number, identify yourself, once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. Also, if you have any other kind of emergency, press the red button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost and need directions, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it and how to, uh, what's wrong with it and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance and concierge service. For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealer for your 90 day free trial. All right, up in the top here we got storage. All right, okay. Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now. Up in the top here, you got a set of map lights. All right, and you got a leather wrap steering wheel that is in really nice shape. I'll go around there nice and slow. So you can see it's in good shape. It's not damaged or missing color or stitching coming off. All right, so now we're gonna turn off the vehicle and move over to the back.
left rear door panel, same way, black with the silver. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. Let me show you how that works. Get your key in there, give it a half a twist to the left. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. And this handle will start working again. All right, um, in the back of the center console, you got control for the rear AC. The middle row passengers can control the rear AC, the fan speed, how cold or how they want it, or where it flows. They also have a cigarette lighter adapter there for your chargers. They have AC vents here, one on each side, and a set of map lights. And the same thing for the rear row passengers, AC vents and map lights for them as well. The little ones usually just walk in between, but for adults, you can pull up in the I think it's this handle here and then the seat cushion will lift up and the seat will slide forward to give you nice and easy access to the third row. These little plastic tabs here are to indicate to you that in here you have anchors, you can't probably see it now, but you have anchors for your baby car seat so you can put your baby car seat on either one of these two outer positions. This is a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front, two in the middle for a total of four and three more in the rear for a total of seven and they all have over the shoulder belts including the um, middle row rear passenger. All right, let's continue over to the back. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. You have a rear wiper, a rear window defogger, um, passenger tail light here. These are the parking sensors I was telling you about. There are two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you're approaching the vehicle or object. <coughs> you can also open the tailgate by coming over here and just backing up out of the way. Let me go out of the way and let me go ahead and open back here so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video when we go look at the um, area where the cargo stuff would go. And um, <coughs> just come around here. All right, so this is your cargo area. Back here we got what's called a 60-40 seat. You can see the partition right there. 60% on this side, 40% on that side, and you can fold these down to go into cargo mode, and I'll show you how. You pull up on this handle for the seat rest to, uh, to plop forward, and you push to release, and there you go. It's almost laying 100% flat. And the cool thing that they're independent from each other is you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both. So lift, grab up here, lift it toward you, put the headrest back up, and you're back into uh, passenger mode. Got another cigarette lighter adapter over here. And we're gonna, you got a little storage here, I believe. Not too big. All right, let's come around to the passenger side. We're gonna look at the right rear door panel here. Of course, you got the child lock protection on this side as well. And these seats actually slide up and back. So you can, uh, and tilt, they recline and slide up and back. So give you several options as far as uh, how you want to set the seat. Give you another look at the headliner here from a different angle. And now let's move over to the front. Again, just four brand new tires just installed. They got maybe uh, less than a mile or two just back and forth to the tire shop. You get also pass power seat on the driver's side. The seat will slide back and forth and up and down. The recliner is manual. It's right here, that's your handle for the recliner. And let's pan over the seating area one last time before we conclude the video. Before we conclude the video, I would also like to talk to you about, I'd like to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says Apply for Credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click Submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.